Are we recording? Well, it says it's recording. Welcome to the WP Campus Podcast, <laughs> a podcast for those who use WordPress in higher education. Uh, my name is Brian DeConnick, and I'm joined by Jen, Jen McFarland. Podcast recording expert. <laughs> Jen says she's not feeling funny today, so she didn't sing any theme music for us. Well, also, I have a new mic. It's really fancy. I don't want you guys to actually be able to hear the quality of my voice. So I'm going to hold off on the singing for a little while. We are at some point going to try to really reach um, epic professionalism standards by buying or using some free uh, with attribution music to start these sessions off. That's going to happen. So yeah so if you are a long time listener of which there might be one possibly two of you um Our moms. you you know that the last couple of episodes have been a little shorter a little looser um and that's a deliberate choice on our part uh this episode is going to be even less structured because we don't have a guest and we didn't really decide what we were going to talk about yeah you guys are along for a ride so uh, this is sort of a pre-conference, summertime, fun time, um, catch up on everything happening in the WordPress world slash fill time until two weeks from now when we actually have a guest. Yeah, if you guys aren't listening to this at the pool, you should be because this is summertime, fun time. It is summertime, fun time. Is today the first day of summer, the, this day that we're recording it? Something uh, like that? I thought it was like the 22nd. Let's just pretend it's whatever yeah, day. Whatever day you're listening to it today is summer. <laughs> so um, uh, what's new in your life slash WordPress world, Jen? Probably the big news this week, to, at least to start, is uh, it was WordCamp EU last mm -hmm. week, weekend. Um, so we got to hear from our intrepid spirit animal, Matt Mullenweg, about the, the future course of WordPress. Um, I did not actually watch his... Uh, speech. We, we usually do that. But I confess, I lost track of time. I forgot that it was EU already. Um, and so then all of a sudden, like, I get my alerts and my updates and my newsletters. And I'm like, oh, dang, look at Matt's talking. And I missed it. Yeah, I was busy moving across the country. But I did, I did go back Lacker. and read. I did go back and read all of David Bissett's tweets. During okay, well, that's the, like the same thing, right? Yeah, it's basically the same thing as watching it live. Um, so yeah I, I so, did the wp tavern recap so that's the same thing right yeah. yeah um so the big news to come out of that is not really anything that's big newsy um there were some demos of phase two gutenbergy type things uh mm -hmm. the navigation block navigation menu block mm -hmm. uh, but there wasn't like a firm timetable which i yeah, guess yeah i was definitely looking for more information on uh on on Gutenberg phase two timeline, because we, we'd like to use some of that stuff or, or start to be thinking about using it. Uh, and the, my takeaway was, what well, I think Matt said towards the end, this is a process, it's gonna be 10 years in the making, which did not um, make me feel good about a release in the next couple months, let's say. Or I guess there will be releases, but not really feeling like those releases are going to be, yeah. not really knowing what's going to be in them. Yeah. Right, we're not feeling like they're going to be pulled into core for a little while yet. Right, right. Um, but that's fun. Some cool stuff. Uh, also fun is that there was a question about accessibility during the Q&A period, and we got a WP Campus Accessibility Audit shout out. Woo! So now the whole world knows about us. So if okay. you're... If you're listening to this podcast because of that shout out, please register for the uh, in-person event in Portland, July 25th through 7th? Yeah, the 25th to the 27th. Great conversion there, Brian. I'm yeah. really impressed with your, uh, we, should, we should work on some marketing, some sly marketing moves yeah. for those. You know, you can learn more at 2019.wpcampus.org. <laughs> That's good stuff. Um, okay. Any any other takeaways from? Uh, oh, I thought it was interesting that what did they say? Twenty one of the twenty four current Democratic candidates for president are using WordPress for their uh, for their election sites. So, yay politics! That I guess good news I've heard in politics in a while. I guess now we need to figure out who those other three are, and, and uh, what either vote for them or not. Vote. I don't know yeah. what action. <laughs> I need an action item here. Um, 
go and see what they're using. Run their, uh, run their websites through Wave and see if they're accessible. Yeah, we should do that for all 24 and see, yeah. see what kind of damage that is. Uh, that's actually, I might do that. Now, yeah. <laughs> now Brian has something to do for the weekend. Great. Uh, okay. So uh, sort of related to our topic a few weeks ago about diversity and inclusion, but there was the uh, WordCamp Europe after party event that people had feelings about. I don't know if you saw all that on, on Twitter and on WP no, Chatter. I missed that. Please. <clears throat> there was a, uh, an after, so during the after party, there were performers that were sort of cover bands. They were covering different, um, different artists and they were sort of performing as those artists and dressed up as them and things like that. And apparently there was a, oh, uh, no. there, apparently there was a performer who was a woman who also started taking clothes off. And that was unexpected. And <laughs> the reaction of some men in the crowd was not what you would call inclusive. So conferences are hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, I guess I so, didn't hear about any drama. That's yeah, so the word camp your people to their credit put out an apology about that. But um, I were mean, I, I think for the band or the people. I think they were apologizing for the performance not being what they expected it to be and the uh the performance putting people in an uncomfortable place mm, okay. but yeah also there are a lot of people in the wordpress community who should feel bad about you know well the, i mean to be fair there's a lot of communities that have a lot of work to do um ours included so that's right oh. and we're trying to do that and you should listen to two episodes ago to learn all about that and attend WP Campus 2019 in Portland, Oregon from July 25th to 27th. To, you, you're really, you're doing a bang up job. Yes, where we will be talking about uh, how we are continuing our strategies of diversity and inclusion, including uh, adding some mentorship opportunities. And if you come to the conference, we're gonna work on what I'm calling a buddy system. So you can have a friend at the conference and um, hopefully they will help you feel comfortable and meet other people and do some networking while you're there. And you know you can sort of take that relationship back home with you. So, uh, hey, we're just like throwing, throwing all kinds of hits in here. I'm guessing if you're, if you're looking for a buddy, you should try to find a buddy who's not somebody you already work with. That's the idea. Yeah, I mean, you can't be my buddy, Brian. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to like talk to people and make friends. Yeah, you know, I, it, that's actually not my strong suit either. So, um, yeah, I, I sympathize with all the uh, self-labeled introverts out there. Um, even though I'm loud on this microphone in a lonely office, it's not really my jam to go out there and, and talk to everybody. So, yeah, hopefully the buddy system uh, will be something that can sort of help people and serve as kind of a a gateway to meeting others that they wouldn't otherwise meet and do some networking and uh, again take those some of those relationships home with them so they have people they can talk to on slack so yeah i think that should be a conversation we have at some point by the way in a future podcast is how we use slack um mm -hmm. and how how because it's such an important part of our community it's like where we are you know 362 days a year or whatever so right um yeah no i think that's true and actually so in uh, Matt Mullenweg's talk at WordCamp Europe, and again, I'm basing this solely on Dave Bissett's tweets, <laughs> um, I think he said something about uh, Slack being sort of a game changer for community involvement in the WordPress project as well. And I think, I mean, you definitely see that with WP Campus, you know, this, this tool that's empowered us to have these long running ongoing conversations about anything and everything. Uh, yeah, I've heard some people trash talking Slack with their um, not their DPO, direct public offering from like last mm -hmm. week or whatever. Um, and, and, you know, some people were like, all I ever do is put silly emojis on there. And I'm like, well, okay, you're not using Slack. But like for the people who are using Slack, this is a really helpful tool. So right. yeah, maybe someday we'll put, we'll, we'll put out a session about that. By the way, we're not getting paid by Slack. We should say that about a lot of things that we're talking about yeah. today. Yeah, and if, if if the WP Campus community someday moves to, I don't know, like Google Meet Hangout thing, whatever that is, the, the Google anti-Slack. Google won't yeah. be paying us either. No. <laughs>
Um, I was going to throw out there the, and this is a little bit old at this point, but um, Yoast and Google folks are working to add XML sitemaps to, to WordPress core. Did you hear about that? I did. And that's, I think, I mean, I think in, in higher ed world, we have a lot of advantages with our .edu domains when it comes to SEO. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, so you and I, we work for NC State University and there's only one NC State University, but there are lots of something college. You know, there's some very common names for colleges that have uh, instances in multiple states and multiple countries. And I feel like any little bit of SEO help that you can get there, um, I mean, that, that can be a game changer for your small liberal arts college or something like that. So I, I think seeing that sort of thing move into into core would be would be a big deal. It's it's not something that helps us specifically, but yeah, I think it's a good best practice. Um, and it's, you know, arguably fairly easy to do. So I, you know, I think it would be a really, uh, a really nice thing to release. I, I certainly see it rolling up into uh, what did they add with the last version, the um, site health tools, which I'm really not sure how I feel mm -hmm. about site health either. Because um, there's some stuff in there that's pretty you know, it, it varies depending on your environment. Like we, we're, we get dinged for some stuff that is, I think, very unfair. Uh, well, I, I think, I mean, there are best practices and then there are things that you can reasonably accommodate with your, with your hosting infrastructure. Right. And, and because we have our own custom sort of hosting infrastructure, you know, uh, if we have users who make their way to site health and see that and it's going to be kind of misleading in terms of uh you know how, how our environment's built yeah i so there's some stuff i guess i feel like the xml stuff i i certainly like better than some of the site health uh work i'm glad to see them continuing to try to improve like what wordpress core offers but i do also worry about things getting a little heavy like do mm -hmm. i do i need all of this in wordpress core mm -hmm. Is anybody asking my opinion? No. <laughs> this has been our new segment, Visceral Reactions to New WordPress Features with Jen. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not, I'm not like enraged about it. I'm just, you know, hey, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, so what else is happening in WordPress world? Uh, I did want to say that post status, so I do not subscribe to post status. So again, this is not like an endorsement of anything. Nobody needs to go out and buy anything. But but if you're not aware, post status is uh, what looks to be a pretty cool site that you can subscribe to to get lots of information about the WordPress community at large. And they have an event. Typically, this is limited to only their members, but it's going to be uh, their published online uh, streaming event is going to be available to anyone who wants to go. This is July 8th and 9th, uh, so like a week and a half or so. Um, so lots of good people in there, including our very own Rachel Cherry. Uh, so there's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to, to tune in for it, but it, it definitely looks interesting. Um, and I, I always like some access to uh, free insights. So, but if you're thinking about going to a conference, you should really consider WP Campus 2019 in Portland, Oregon, July 25th to the 27th. Uh, so is there anything else we should say about the conference before we wrap things up? Uh, do we have, uh, this is something we should have talked about off mic, do we know what our social events are? Do you want to start talking about those? Yeah, up? I mean, tentatively, we know what our social events are. Um, we will be at a, a local bar slash restaurant the first night. Um, the second night, it looks like we're going to be at Oak Park, um, which is an amusement park not too far away from our venue at Lewis and Clark College. Uh, so you can come out and ride the rides and uh, play, play mini golf. Yeah, mini golf and they have uh, roller skating. Um, so I, I think that's going to be a pretty nice evening. We're still kind of nailing down what we're going to do on the, the Saturday night. So um, none of this is up on the website yet, but I would tune in um, at some point in, in the next week or so and hopefully we'll have some updates on this. This is just the extra value you get from listening to the WP Campus podcast as a sneak, that's right. peek, sneak peek of things that are not public data yet. Because everybody was like super anxious to find out. Uh, yeah. Come back in two weeks. Maybe I'll give you a list of the beer menu. <laughs> Actually, you should tune in in two weeks because we will be talking to one of our uh, WP Campus sponsors. Pantheon will be on with me, um, and Brian will be on vacation, like, like I will. that he is. 
Um, so I will also say that if you are tuning in and you have specific questions for Pantheon or uh, if there's anything else that you want to uh, ask of us, please feel free to either um, DM us on Slack, uh, NCSU Merit, and Brian, what do you want Slack? Uh, Brian DeConnick, all in Brian work. And then you can also uh, hit us up on Twitter, um, still NCSU Merit on Twitter. And I think Brian's still Brian DeConnick. Yes, at Brian DeConnick. All you have to do is spell his name right and you have instant access. All, all Brian all the time, if you know where that second silent N goes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you should change your Twitter name to all Brian all the time. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. The only other thing I'll add about the conference is that uh, we are still looking for volunteers and uh, volunteering is a fun thing to do. And the more people we have volunteering, the more fun it will be. And the less it will be me and Marianne asking you, please do this one other thing because we don't have anybody else to do it. So tell all your friends and you should also volunteer. I know I'm really selling it. Um, you'll get a special VIP gift and our undying love and affection for putting the time and energy and care that you that you have into the WP campus community. And so if you're interested in that. The, I'm go not to, gonna give away the VIP gift, but it's it is sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's 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 pretty good VIP gift. I mean, as everybody listening probably knows, WP Campus has really solid swag all around every year. Yeah. Um, got a Pat Rachel on the back for that. So if you want in on the solid VIP gift swag, go to 2019.wpcampus.org slash volunteers and fill out the form and make me happy. <laughs> or, you know, don't do it to make me happy. Do it just to <laughs> give back to the community. I, I, don't, I don't care. You ruin your life. Go ahead. Do, do whatever you want. Make him happy. Okay. Um, the only other thing I completely forgot to mention, uh, so the, the other big news is Flywheel and WP Engine are, are merging. So what were your thoughts on that one? I don't know. I think, um, I mean, it's sort of a, a two big presences in the WordPress community. And I know two companies that people in WP Campus world, both have, we, a lot of people have experience with both 